My name is Kathleen O'Brien. I manage a group of researchers looking at technologies for the electric power grid of the future. So when we talk about the power grid, what we're really talking about is the wires that bring the power to your house. Um, so what we'll do is things like figure out how to get new sources of power like wind and solar generation to deliver power to your house, but also how to keep your lights on in your house and your ability to keep playing your video games when there's a big storm somewhere and it takes down the power lines. So all of that, um, you know, new generation sources, more reliability, the ability to keep playing with and using all the things that we use in our houses every day, no matter what is going on in the world, is what we do in, in my group. If I was a kid today, I think I would still look at the power grid. I would still look at how people get power from large generators into our houses, how we keep the entire world running with the power that we create and that we transmit through the electric grid. Um, I would do it a little bit differently in that I wouldn't focus as much on one individual piece of that, of you know the science of the power grid or integrating renewables. I would look at um, how that ties to other fields like mathematics, uh, computer science, physics, and looking at how we can take some of the exciting scientific stuff that's been done around data and, and computing and use that more effectively to apply to the power grid so that we can deliver power more efficiently and better. I think that's where the future is going, is really the tie between different fields more than each individual person being an expert in one thing only. So every time that you are playing with your video games, every time you're talking on your cell phone to your friends, you're text messaging, you're um, doing something that, that requires a, a machine or a gadget, um, it took somebody to invent that. It took, in fact, teams of people to invent that and, and invent all different aspects of it and work together. And it takes math, it takes physics, it, it even takes art when you're looking at the design of the piece of equipment that you're using. All of those things are the future. So. If you want to have your kids play with things like skateboards that levitate or um, you know, telephones that can send hours and hours of video at, at a split second, anything that you want that you see in your head as a, a future awesome toy or awesome game for yourself or for your kids, that's going to take somebody like you to invent it and build it. And it's exciting and it's fun and why not? So anything you do in the world, anything you play with, anything you touch, anything that uses electricity in any form relies on the power grid. So if we can figure out how to do this more efficiently, if we can figure out how to do it more reliably, that means more power for more people in the world. There's a lot of people in the world today that don't have electricity in their house. If we want to have every single person in the world use electricity and be able to play with Nintendo and other gadgets like that, we need to be able to do it more efficiently and better and that's what my group works on so it's very very much a, a futuristic and, a, and an important thing for the future of the world and so we're excited every day that we get a chance to work on it.